Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Devon Dudley, Get the Tables. Uh, Devon is this weekend's superstar. Uh, I don't have either of the original Dudley boys, so I am like super hyped about this. He is a, um, what do we got, Reality Era, I believe? Um, Chaotic Acrobat. Uh, also, of note, they said on the stream yesterday, both of the older uh, Dudley boys were going to be getting a rework and a re-release later this month. So I'm like, as someone who missed both of them because I wasn't playing when they were available, uh, I'm like super hyped about that. Really hyped about Devon. I'm a Dudley boy, Mark. So uh, really looking forward to this preview. Uh, let's take a look. Like I said, Reality Era uh, Chaotic Acrobat. He has the Reality Era link. Matching any color gems, charge moves that color by one more MP. He's got the Get the Table standard gear. He's a coach. Um, another one of these style ones that we've seen recently at 6 star. Blue gems do 30% dam gem damage. And moves that generate blue gems create three more blue gems. They're pretty solid coaches. I like them. Uh, gives more flexibility at the coach position so fan of that uh we're gonna i have three move sets for you guys probably gonna run them with different plates um worth noting the devon strap i'm using for this is a 30 percenter we're gonna change the metals on the last build uh right now it's just a full set of fury twos 30 percent gem damage strap uh but nothing super crazy uh level 12 here and then a not maxed fury 2 move damage metal um there's a reason for that so one thing i would i would if you guys get devon take a look at your straps my strap situation is pretty bad i have an hp a skip turn and an anti-stun and then if we go to legendary doesn't get any better of course rainmaker can go on him my grand tourney strap i have this generic acrobat strap that strap that's 25 percent gem damage to all after that, I just have a 20% gem defense and an unlocked one at legendary. So straps are going to be a big deal. It's going to be really hard to get like a, or have a 50 to 100% gem damage or move damage strap. And uh, I'm mentioning that because it's certainly going to make a difference for him um, in both cases. So anyway, let's get started. And first move set I'm going to have for you guys is going to be triple purple. Um, seated rear chin lock, 6 MP sub, generate 33 random sub gems, do 234k damage 3 turns, remaining turn into color turn gems. Saving grace, 7 MP purple, uh, 456k damage, and make 11 random color turns into multiply gems. If his opponent's class is first... Blah. If opponent's class is a showboat, first deal 902k damage and make 11 color turns into multiply gems of strength 9. So you're basically more than doubling your multiply gem output on a showboat. Um, so this is like a... That's the showboat killer move. And then testify. 7 MP purple, 178k damage, and make 35 rando gems into purples. Uh, so entourage for this one. We're going to start out with woods. Mosh. Um, so we're getting 5 more multiply gems, 1 more MP. We got Ray for flat purple gem damage, Santa Hogan to give us that sixth. So once the MP bonus is gone, uh, the sub would start loaded in feud turn one. So let's go against Eddie here, see how this looks, and then I'll go against the showboat with it as well. This is obviously gem damage based. This would certainly benefit from an all heart, which I probably will actually put on him. So sub Eddie, color turns go off, <clears throat> we make our 11 multiplies, uh, and then we flood the board with purples. Actually, it's more than 11 because of Mosh, it's like 16. We still missed uh, three of them, we picked one up. 7.5 mil though. So I think like, if you don't get a good strap, if you don't have some crazy plates, and other stuff. This is probably the move set for most of you. Um, 
Of course, if you don't have a 17k Santa, you would need a middle line bonus for it to be loaded, or you just flip in a 2 MP purple. I would probably use like a Sammy if you have them for 2 purple MP and 100% sub damage. That's prob This is probably going to be the moveset if you don't have a lot of crazy stuff, though. Um, let's check that against a showboat since we do have that buff and see just how much difference that makes. We'll go against JBL here. This gives us uh, 32 multiply gems if we have um, if we have enough color turn gems on the board, which I don't think we will. So I think all of these will turn multiply that we have left. Yep. So I would imagine this smacks pretty good. Yeah, that's a 13 million reduced to 11 million against a showboat without anything crazy. Um... Definitely going to be a showboat killer. There's a lot of really good showboats, so I think that's a bonus. Um, let's go ahead and throw that all heart on. Let's see how much harder we hit than 13 million with an all heart for you guys. Because uh, all heart is a plate that certainly uh, more people have. It's definitely not a rare one. Of course, plates are hard to get if they're not on the part picker wall. So I won't say everyone has it or it's easy. Uh, but it's definitely not the most rare plate in the world, so a lot of people should have this one. Of course, that's whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your purple and green gem damage by 100% for two turns. So that was like 13 million reduced. Let's see what we do with the all hard on. And luckily, there are a ton of good showboats in the game, so you're very likely to see showboats in Feud. Here we lost quite a few multiple, or yeah, quite a few color turn gems, so this is not a great result. Because there's, we didn't even get the other set out. It's like in this case, Mosh isn't really doing a heck of a lot for us, right? And we didn't even kind of pick up all the multiply gems, but this was what this is why I don't like sub builds. Um, so no idea really how much difference that made that time. I'll run one more for you guys, since his builds are fast, and I only have three today. Because I do think this is a set that more people will be able to run if they want. Of course, it recycles itself, too. Um, you could also, if you have an ultimate, put the Acolyte plate on there. I don't I don't have that plate, but that adds more gem damage, so you can run that. Yeah, we're losing a ton of color turns here, too. It's just probably not going to cooperate. Yeah, it's not. And, of course, that's the problem with color turns, too, that you just saw there. Right? So... You guys know I'm not going to like this moveset, right? But... It's definitely going to hit hard this time, though. Like, really hard. Because we have two sets of sub going with it. Awesome animations, by the way. That's 19 million, so <clears throat> when it works, it's going to work really well in a showboat. And like I said, if you don't have crazy stuff, this is probably what you're going to run. All right. This, obviously, I prefer much, much more. And this is part of the reason, though, I mentioned the strap situation. Because this does not, I'm not going to, this probably is not going to hit very hard, uh, to be honest, when I show you the, this against a regular person. Uh, a non-showboat <clears throat> because it just doesn't quite do enough all heart won't be doing anything now so you don't need to worry about that 
Um, we're going to put the other move in, the Leaping Shoulder Block, instead of the sub. And that's deal uh, 281k damage, choose a 5x7 area to make into color turn jumps. Entourage, we're going to sw switch it up slightly. We're going to go with uh, Gunther. Also, if you don't have Gunther, no big deal. Any two purple MP is fine. You lose a little bit of purple gem damage. And then we're also using uh, Taker for one extra multiply since we lost um, Mosh. So that gives us 12. Um, this one is very straightforward. No sub. You don't have to worry the first time through anyway about bad things happening with the color turn. Um, but, and, and again, this is the reason I mentioned the straps. With a 30% strap, does not hit as hard as I would like. And it's going to be really hard, like I said, to have that 50 to 100% gem damage strap. Six million reduced to five three. Eddie kicks right out, right? It's like twelve million with a thirty percent strap at six star silver. And you're gonna get variants depending how many purples you have. This one should hit significantly harder because we have a lot of purples. Much more likely to connect all of the multiply gems. Like so. That was 6-5 reduced. So let's see what that does against the showboat, though. Because this one, we're going to keep our multiply gems. We don't have Bosch on. Um, so we're not generating, like, 16 and 16. This is 12 and 12. So we'll get 24 of those. Which is a lot of multiply gems. Again, I think, like, his gem damage builds primarily uh, going to be showboat-based. Unless you have... A couple things which we'll talk about here in a second you're really bad board only four purples you can also use the new roman instead of taker and that gives you three purples and 30 percent purple gem damage which helps fill in these uh, but here we're going to have 24 multiplies, so this should this should hit pretty solidly, even with only four purples on the starting board. That's uh, 9 million reduced with nothing crazy. So again, really good as far as like showboat killer with these gem damage sets. Obviously, I love this one because it's safe, fast, and easy. Recycles too. Because uh, the color turn is only one move. Now, there is a plate, if you get, which, uh, you know, who knows if you'll get it. Um, a, a lot of times, though, the top ten factions get a bag with the chance to have this plate. That's how I got my Brutus Shears. So the new plate is the Devon Specs. Whenever you make six or more color turn gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for one turn. Obviously, that's going to give us 50% more gem damage on these multiplies. And this would also be the equivalent on if you have an 80% gem damage strap, which doesn't exist. But you can kind of do the math, and this is basically a 100% strap, essentially. Um, would hit like this. So we'll use it against a showboat first, and then I'll go back against Eddie. So you guys can kind of have an idea. Kind of a reference point for you. So, purples, 48k. Now they're 55k. Now we're getting the multiplies. More, a lot more than four purples on the board. This, this should slap pretty good. I have like seven, which I think would be about the average. We still missed a bunch of multiplies, so we only hit for 10 million, but we missed, like, most of them. That was just Merrick's luck. And now let's run it against a regular person, no showboat buff.
last set is my favorite um for sure i think it's going to end up being his most consistent across all classes although if you do want to build a showboat killer i think this is the move set assuming you have at least a 50 percent strap also i think big big help if you get this particular skill plate that we're running um for this move set and i do think it's worth considering using roman um because those three extra purples are gonna help like overtaker i just don't want to use roman because he's more rare for sure than taker taker's rare enough so that's 7.3 million so like i said you get a hundo strap this is probably gonna do like 8 million most of the time uh with 100 strap um 16 million at six star silver that's kind of borderline you get the plate you're probably getting close to that 20 million mark really fast um so I think it's good enough if somehow you get 100% strap and you get his plate. Otherwise, I think these two purples, you're probably mostly using against showboats. However, the sub recycles and stuff, but you saw the problems with the color turn gem. Um, so you could end up losing there. Anyway, let's look at the last move set. This is my favorite. Oh, one move I'm not using, and it's really interesting that I'm not because it's actually a very strong move. It's a 6 MP red choose blue. 196k damage choose seven gems to make into blue it just kind of doesn't make sense for any of the build sets there's a better option all the time so i didn't use it just to use it but it is a really strong move low charge choose that's never bad um you could use it in place of this one but uh you're losing some blue move damage so it doesn't really make sense in my brain um Anyway, uh, these are all the moves you haven't seen. We got the was up, 10 MP finisher, 795k damage, make 39 random gems into red. This would allow the, the recycling there, but there are other ways to cycle this, by the way. Uh, headbutt drop, 5 MP, deal 196k damage, choose a 3 by 2 area to swap into blue gems. And the, the really the move that makes this one go, the Corkscrew Elbow, 5 MP Blue, 231k damage and increase your blue move damage by 80% for one turn. Um, I should probably switch my screen. So, Entourage for this one, no surprise, lots of blue move damage. We got Pat Patterson for 100% to all blue moves. We got Hall of Fame Honky Tonk Man, 40% to all blue and we got Trickster Becky here for 35% to all blue damage, move damage. So that's what we're running. The idea for this is hit the buff twice um, and go to town. And let's actually go against the showboat because he has more hit points. And none of these are like a bonus thing for that. None of the plates are helping this move set that we have on. So obviously you want to hit the buff first. Pre-buff, none of this looks amazing, right? 3 hit 3.2 million, uh, 800k, 900k. Let's hit the buff and see what we're dealing with. And Bradshaw starts at 16 million health. Now we're up to 5.8 million, 1.4 million. Obviously we want to hit this buff again. Merrick's trying to do Merrick's things. So now um, we're going to hit it again. This is now 1.6 million. Now the finisher is 8.4 million and 2 million on the headbutt. However, we can do this with the headbutt and then not place it. And we get that extra 2 million damage. And now he's not going to kick out. We're going to do 8.4 million and then chuck a bunch of red gems. Of course, you could use like a sheriff's badge and get more red gems and stuff. That was 16 million damage. That's without a max take. That's without a max um, tier five. That was a, a level 12, and no takedown twos, right? And also no move damage trap. Move damage traps probably going to be super hard to get for him. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's why I wanted to start with this to kind of show you guys the low end. If you get a bad strap, if you don't have takedown twos, etc. So now let's actually change the metals out and let's see what he does with takedown twos in a maxed um, one. So that was 16 million turn one. Uh, relatively safe. Love that moveset actually. 
um, and just bear with me as I swap these out. I don't do I gotta have a 200% blue. No, I don't. Okay, well that's a hole in my metals here. So this is one I would I'll definitely level up if I get him. Uh, I'm gonna have to farm some metal bits. When I say farm, I mean auto clear tickets, because <laughs> I'm on the low end. These don't matter. You know what? To make up for that, let me look for some uh, filter here. Um, to make up for the 50% we're losing there. Let's see. It's another 6%. I was take down two, right? Twelve percent. Try and make up for this a little bit. Do I have one that's equipped to anyone? Sure. Uh, oh, this eleven percent. Cool, twenty-two percent. All right, we're still thirty percent behind. Um, is is if I had that metal maxed, but this should give you a better idea how much difference it makes. Um, so we're picking up eighty percent there. And then uh, 20, so this is 100% more than, than what we had. You could still get an additional 50% without a strap. So like if you had a 50% strap and max across the board, take down twos, uh, you could get another 100% on top of what we're running here. But that's going to be hard to get, the 50% strap. So we did 16 mil, basically about total. Let's see. Now we're looking at 4 million to start, 1 million, and 1.1. The way buffs work, every little bit helps. Um, so now the finisher's already 7.3, and this is 1.8 million. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do not like. Okay, good. We didn't cascade. Let's see what that finisher goes up to now. So now we're 10 million on uh, 2.6, so 16, we're up to 18 million. Um, also, the bonus you get when you go to silver is better on these buff guys because of how the buffs are multiplicative. Um, so it ends up being a little bit better than the other stuff. So yeah, this is like a 20 million, um, I think like with 100% strap, um, max metals you're probably looking more at like 25 26 million um and without it like this like i said 20 million at six star bronze and that's going to be better at silver so to me that's his best move set uh it's really fast really efficient across the board of course you get really nice stuff you can use the purples uh definitely i'm biased for this one i was like super hyped to see it really fun to play i enjoy these move damage uh builds to be honest and acro is extremely weak uh, for feuding, in my opinion. So Wesley, in my opinion, is better, but you need the moment, and the NXT moment is very hard to get. Um, so there's that. Now, assuming you can get some really good straps, I think he's he's the best after Wes with NXT moment. Without NXT moment, I kind of think Devon's the best. You can make a case for D'Lo. I know some people really like D'Lo, especially as you get the moments and stuff. You can make a case for Hall of Fame Macho with Gears, um, of course. So, like, I think these are your four. Uh, Tatanka can do some really good things with the... It's a really rare moment, but he can do some really good things with his moment, too. Uh, Motu Austin can probably do some things now um, with, the, with, the, with the trainers and stuff we have. And um, HBK, as long as you have blues on the board and have, like, all this stuff, actually hits surprisingly hard. Um, surprisingly hard. Gets three more multiplies on this, but you need to get all the stuff on the board. But, like, Mosh really helps him, um, etc. Um, and he's, like I said, dependent on that. So I kind of think that's, like, Acrobats for me. Uh, in the top, and I, so I think he's a great addition. Obviously, Reality Era is really nice to fill that era out, and the Dudleys are super cool. So I, I personally, I'd put him as a top three acro, but that's kind of dependent on what you have or what you get. Um, and probably number two for me, right behind Wes. My personal ranking would be Wes Moment, Devon to 
probably D'Lo or Hall of Fame Macho three and four, and then Tatanka. That's how I'd personally rate them, and then probably these two right there. But there's, you know, play style preference. Dom, of course, always wins and is worth talking about. Warrior always wins and is worth talking about. They're just not like speed demons, right? And I know some people really like Logan, so. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think Devon, great addition, pretty fun. Um, cautionary, though, straps are going to be hard to get. So hopefully Scopely throws some Reality Era straps where we have a chance to hit some rolls. Hopefully some of those are move damage and not just gem damage. Um, but be on the lookout for straps. Check your straps to see what you got because it's certainly going to make a big difference on him. Also, this skill plate, a lot of times they're not a big deal for the superstar they're, like, named after. This is definitely a skill plate you want if you plan on running the purple ones. It's kind of a must there. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the game. Have fun. I'm stoked to have the Dud Dudleys back in the game. I, I gotta think that this means we're gonna get Bubba Ray as well. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there.